For you, O oh God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid a crushing burden on your, our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet you have brought us to the place of abundance. I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will perform my vows to you, that which my lips uttered, and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fat and animals with the smoke of the sacrifices of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Come and hear all you fear God, and I will tell you that what you have done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and his praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would, would not have listened. But truly, God has listened. He has attended to my voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer or removed my steadfast love from me. I praise God. Psalms is one of my favorite books of the Bible, because there's so much in there that we can thank God for what he's done for us. I'm going to ask us to stand this morning. We just come out of a month of Thanksgiving, but there's no bigger Thanksgiving than the month of Christmas, month of December, because God sent his son to us yeah. as a baby who didn't have to do what he did, but he came willingly to be born for us so he could die for us. So let's give God some praise this morning for who he is. to bring announcements today. Thank you, Father. Uh, Tuesday night is a young adults Bible study at 6 o'clock. Tuesday night, Marty Warriors at 6.30. Tuesday night, prayer service is at 6.30. And Tuesday night, youth group is at 7.30. If you can't be in the house, be in prayer. If you have requests, please forward them. Our upcoming events, there is no sisters gathering in December it will resume in January. Pastor is turning 50 this week. You're invited to his 50th birthday party 
on the 9th at 3 o'clock here at church. Please let Sister Michelle know today if you plan on attending. Please come out. Let's, let's, uh, let's appreciate our pastor. 50 is a big one, Pastor. It's halfway. Someone told me one time there's a hill you go up. 50 is when you hit and you get ready to start back down. So you're at the top now. So you can look forward to start coming back down. <laughs> Our Christmas program is December the 17th at 1030. Keep the children and leaders in prayer. Uh, they've been working hard for this program. So let's come out with our families and support them. Because it's going to be wonderful. Our regional ladies retreat is April the 5th through the 7th. Theme is inner beauty, women of the world, first woman of the world. Block Rock Retreat Center in Pennsylvania. Cost is $200. Cost includes registration, five meals and lodging. Registration is open and payment plan is available. $50 on the last day of the month. Registration will close March 5th. So this is reasonable enough that you can make your payments and, and be there and support them. Men's prayer breakfast will begin on January, in January on the second Saturday of the month, happening monthly. You can see uh, me or Brother Justin about it. We would like for you all to attend. It's for all ages. going to worship it this morning and prayer request. Um, anybody have a prayer request? I'm going to ask you to raise your hand and call it out. We know Sister Christina needs a miracle from God and her mother. We have other ones. We have Brother John Boyette's next door. Um, we need to keep him in prayer. We have several people that are sick. and But God's a big guy. Um, he, he doesn't just show up whenever he feels like he shows up all the time. We just got to put our faith in it. Got to be believe. So I'm going to ask us to stand this morning. Go to prayer. I'm going to ask Brother Warren to lead us out this morning.
that uh, Brother Ford's not feeling well. Let's remember him in prayer. And um, I would like to say the church looks wonderful with all the decorations. Uh, and I don't know who to thank. I know Sister Pam, Sister Michelle. Uh, you guys did a wonderful job. It looks beautiful. Everyone has been commenting on it, and really, it really does. Great. It's just great. Uh, this is for Sunday offering, and this is the time when we uh, show our appreciation to our pastor. And pastor, I wasn't going to mention a number. I wasn't going to mention it. I was, I was going to say 39, you know, <laughs> Jack Benny age. Or whatever. But anyway, being as Brother David opened the window. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to take a love offering, but also... Uh, just like Brother David said, if you do not, if you're unable to attend Saturday's party at three o'clock, um, you may put your card in the offering plate. But we would love to have you here uh, to celebrate, and um, uh, it's just a great time. And we appreciate our pastor and his family, and it's it's a busy time for everybody, and especially for them. So uh, let's give as unto the Lord. And uh, could I have ushers, uh, Brother John, Brother Mike? Let's pray. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time to uh, give back in some small way to you, Lord God. We love our pastor. We appreciate him, Lord. We ask that you multiply the offering and bless those that are able and those that are not, Lord God. And uh, lift them up, keep them, Lord God. And we give you the praise and glory for all we accomplish in this life. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Do you love Jesus this morning? Has he been good to you this week? Hallelujah. It's hard to believe that we are already in the very last month of 2023. But I'm so grateful that he has kept us in 2023. We're about to celebrate the birth of our King, our risen King and Savior. Amen? Amen. It's not about all the presents. It's not about wrapping. It's gotten so bad at my house, I don't even wrap anything. Everybody just gets a huge bag and everything's in it. Christmas is quick, cleanup is quick. That nap is amazing. But besides all that, we always give honor to God because that is the reason for the season. That, that's it. Without Christ, there would just be more, right? More stuff. There'd be more hustle and more bustle. But we have an opportunity to just take time out right now and give God glory for giving us his son, for allowing us to live an abundant life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you could stand to your feet as we go into this time of worship, where we have an opportunity to celebrate that it's Christmas time and what that truly means. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love it. We love to be able to celebrate. Thank you, Jesus, for coming for us. Hallelujah. Thank you for that amazing and huge sacrifice that you gave your son so that we can choose to walk and talk with him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's Christmas time, y'all. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
to this world, oh God, hallelujah, just by sending your only begotten son, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, oh, we give you glory, oh God,
saves for being a God that rules the world with truth and grace hallelujah thank you Jesus especially in a world right now that just wants acceptance of all of the things it doesn't have to be truthful it just has to feel good but we have a God who rules the world with truth and grace hallelujah hallelujah he's not a tyrant hallelujah he gives us the option hallelujah to love him and have a relationship with him glory to God hallelujah and that's what it's about it's about having a relationship with him glory to God hallelujah hallelujah our God saves Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is a God that rescues people in fires. Glory to God. Our God is a God who shuts the mouths of lions. Hallelujah. Our God is a God who walks on water. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our God saves. We have a reason to be excited this morning. Hallelujah, our God. Hallelujah, the maker of heaven and earth. Hallelujah, he rules and he reigns. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. He gave us a joy that the world doesn't understand. Glory to God. Hallelujah, but I thank him. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Can we just take some time to tell him thank you? Thank you for saving us. Hallelujah. Thank you for raising us. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah for saving us today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You're a wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We give you honor, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. We worship you, God. Hallelujah. You're worthy. You are worthy, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for coming for us. Hallelujah, 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 thank you for coming for me, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, thank you for knowing that I would need you, thank you, Lord, for knowing that I would be broken and feel undone, hallelujah, but you sent your son, hallelujah, to walk and talk with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We can't forget. Thank you, Jesus. What is done? He's been a good God. Hallelujah. It's tough to read that scripture that all things are working for our good when we feel like we're in the furnace. Hallelujah. But he's a man of his word. And when he tells us that all things are working for our good, hallelujah, we can trust and believe that he's ruling the world with truth and grace. And that has been extended to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You're worthy this morning, God. 
you are worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're worthy, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ is born. Jesus Christ is born. Thank you, Jesus. your word is quick, powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword. Your word is spirit and it is life. It will quicken us. It will come alive to us. It will speak life right now to us. Lord, your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. It will lead us and guide us every step of the way. And Father, we thank you for coming for us. We thank you for being all that we need. Lord, we thank you for touching our shepherd, for opening up his mouth, oh God, and giving us a word, Lord, that not only we'll be able to, to hear, but we'll be able to do. God, help us to be your hands and your feet this morning. Father, we thank you in advance for being a wonderful counselor. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you in advance for who you are and what you're going to do. Let this seed that is being planted this morning, Father, let it take root and let it grow. Let it manifest for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I'm so glad he came for us. You know, a long, a long time ago, God could have just said, let's just start over. Let's just wipe them all out. As a matter of fact, God got pretty close to wiping them all out and we'll just start over. But God never did because God wanted us to be here. He wanted to, to love to love his son. Yes. To give us the ability to turn to, 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 turn to you and, and to love God. And, and I'm, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for what he has done for me. And, and he's kept his hand upon me. <clears throat> and I'm thankful that he came for us. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Um, you can turn to... Uh, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 1, we'll, we'll, uh, Michelle's going to read there in a minute, <clears throat> but the, the message um, for the next several uh, weeks will be uh, entitled, His Name Shall Be Called. We're just going to go through the, the names, a, a few of the names that are, that are, that are, um, that are telling us what we are in the Word of God. Now, obviously, in, in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 and 7, there's, there's hundreds of names of God. There, there are books that just have names after names and, and trying, giving the understanding of, what these, of all the different names that God means. <clears throat> but for the purpose... Of this, of this message, we're just looking at Isaiah chapter 9, and verse, verse 6 and 7. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. 
and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 1, beginning at verse 1 to verse 4, read Michelle, please. This is not, this, this does not sound like a good beginning so far. <laughs> um, God raised a nation who has turned their back from God. <clears throat> As Michelle just said in Isaiah chapter 1 and verse, verse 4, they, they have forsaken the Lord. They've turned their back on. On on God. God never lost track of his creation. God never lost track of of his creation, which is evident, as as I just mentioned just very briefly a few minutes ago, uh, as as I referenced um, Noah. Everybody else was wiped out from 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 the, the, the flood. But God kept a remnant. God never lost track of his creation. Never. Whether they were good or whether they were evil, God still saw them. God still sees them. And he is still waiting for them to repent. In the midst of of all of that darkness, a, a, a ray of light would shine in the darkness, although it wouldn't even sound that great at first. But after continuing to write to to God's people about the sinfulness and and need of repentance, Isaac experiences the loss of the king. And it just kind of seems like things have just gone from bad To worse. However, at the same time, God grants Isaiah a a glimmer of hope. In Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1 through 3, read the shit. In the year that King Uzziah had died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him, the seraphim, each had six wings. With two, he covered his face. Yes. And with two, he covered his Thank feet. You, Jesus. And with two, he flew. And the one called to another and said, Holy, yes. holy, holy Thank you, Jesus. is the Lord of hosts. Amen. The whole earth is full yes. of his glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah, Jesus, God. I, I don't know, you can't, you can't read that and, and not get a little bit excited when, when you hear that. But d- despite more loss, <clears throat> Isaiah sees the Lord. He, he sees the Lord. <clears throat> a glimmer of, of, of hope and, and of light shining in, in, a, in a dark world. He sees the Lord. The message is clear. In the midst of all of of, uh, this nation's sinfulness and disobedience, 
unto God, he shows, he shows them that he is still high and lifted up. God never lost track of, of, of mankind. He knew who he was. He, he knew where he was supposed to be. And, 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 and even if he didn't do something or, or say it at that moment, God still knew who he was. He knew exactly who he was. <clears throat> the message is also clear that despite the, the disobedience of his people, God's still looking for his people to repent. He's, he's still looking for his, his people to repent. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter it, it, what, what people think. God... If, if you, how, how, how can I say this? Man, mankind began falling away from God. And they have fallen farther and farther and farther and further away from God. And in the midst of that, they still thought they were okay. That, that's, a, that's a very da da uh, dangerous thing to be in. But in the midst of all of that, that, all of that mess, God shined him out as bright as he possibly could. And he let everybody know that he is still God of all. For unto us a child is born... For unto us a son is given. For, for our perspective, from our perspective, he was telling them there a, 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 that a child is born. But from God's perspective, he was saying he was a son that was given. And he was being both. He was being a son, a, a, a child that was born and a son that was given. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Yeah. Depending upon uh, how you, you look at this, it, 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 it can be a, 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 a word wonderful and a separate word, counselor. Or it can be looked at as the two words together, wonderful counselor. Um, for, for, the, for the sake of time, I'm, I'm combining it into two. And, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Counselor. Wonderful means a miracle. I like that. A miracle. It, it means a marvelous thing. How fitting that the first name given to the, to the, the child of Isaiah's account to be called a miracle. Wonderful. <clears throat> he, he, he's... Um, Mary has a, has a child, but she's um, a virgin. Thank you. Now, now, can you just process that for a second? She's a virgin, but she's pregnant. It doesn't happen. It's not a... It's not a um, um, a cute little uh, movie. Yes. Yes. This is real. Yes. Yes. She was a virgin, but she she gave she, she 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 was impregnated by God. How? It was because it was a miracle. Yes. Yes. Everything surrounding his birth was a miracle. Was wonderful. Elizabeth became pregnant after her and her husband were both neither one able to have children. But they didn't, they didn't have children before that years, years ago. She, they could not have children. And then her, 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 both of their, um, see how do I can say this nicely? <laughs> it just didn't work. 
it just didn't work. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, God gives, gives her a child. And she has that child named John the Baptist. What else can you say other than it's a miracle? It's wonder, wonderful. Mary became not only impregnated by the Holy Spirit supernaturally, but she had an, an account with a visitor, uh, with an angelic uh, being, Gabriel, and, and told her that, that she would have favored by God. What else can you say other than it's a miracle? It was wonderful. Joseph was about to bail out. And, 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 it, and it wasn't, it, Joseph was doing the right thing at that time. He was being very quiet about it. He was being very discreet about it. But he was going to walk away quietly. He, he, he could have made a big fuss, but he wasn't doing that. But he was, he was ready to go. And then he had a dream. And, 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 and an angel to, told him, you don't have to worry about it. That, 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 that child that she's going to have is conceived by the Holy Spirit. Joseph then, too, believes in Mary's story. And he has nothing else to say other than it's a miracle. Yes. It's wonderful. <clears throat> they, they end up, they're, 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 it's, it's, it's um, time for, 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 the, for, for Joseph to go to Bethlehem and it's tax time. <laughs> tax time, T-A-X, tax time. You know, that, that time we all love. She was nine months pregnant. Tra traveling on a donkey. My, my, my wife will always remember the, 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 the first time we, tra we traveled and, and she was pregnant with, with that, that, that little truck that I had. I loved that truck, but she didn't love it. They, they, found, they found out that there was no place to stay. But they found a way and God performed a miracle. What else can you say other than it's a miracle? It's wonderful. Out of nowhere, shepherds appear and angels appear and, and they announce his birth. Go, go down and see him. And then the shepherds go and see her and they leave rejoicing. What else can you say other than it's a miracle? Yes. Miracle after miracle after miracle. And that's not even all of them. Yes. Those, those, are just, those are just the ones that I said from, from, from the moment he was conceived until his birth. Yes. Yes. That is just the beginning. He, he was a miracle. Mm -hmm. The word counselor. Coun counselor is an advisor. A counselor, counselor does not tell people how to fix their problems. <laughs> a, a good counselor doesn't do that. Rather, a good counselor helps people discover that on their own. That does not mean anything... They, that, that they say goes. Yes, that, that is, that's, that's not what, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying or understanding. No, that there, there's, a definitely, there, there's a definitely right, there, there are definitely right things that need to be done yes. in order to, to bring about the right resolutions. Yes. However, good counselors doesn't just say, you do this, you do that. It's easy to do that. 
it's often, it's, it's oftentimes easier and, and to say that, but that's not the best way that a, a good counselor does that. Instead, a good counselor helps the person discover the right choice, the correct choices on their own. That's exactly what Jesus did on this earth. When you, when you think about the woman at the well in John chapter 4, you, you, don't have to, you don't have to turn there. But in John chapter 4, this woman at the well met Jesus. And, 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 and they had a little discussion with Jesus. And um, Jesus kept talking her, and, 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 and the longer he talked, the more he, 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 he took her closer and closer and closer to where he was, where he was trying to get her to. Some, sometimes you just can't start and just tell somebody what the issue is. Sometimes you've got to talk. You've got to, you've got to work through it. And, and Jesus keeps, keeps her task, keeps her on task with, with statements uh, 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 and, and, and questions that are relevant and vital. She wanted to talk about whether she was a Samaritan and he was a Jew. Jesus kept talking to her about, give me a drink of water. She questioned Jesus uh, 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 about how, how, um, how, how he, sounded, he sounded arrogant. He wasn't. She, she, she conceived, she perceived his arrogance. But she wanted to talk about uh, uh, Jacob and the well that he built. And Jesus just wanted to talk about, give me a drink of water. And he kept talking to her and, and talking to her until she finally realized, okay, give me that, uh, that drink of water. And then Jesus suddenly turns, turns the question and he says to her, go get your husband and then come back. And then she said, oh, I don't have a husband. And Jesus said, you're right, you don't. But you've had several other ones before, and you don't have one right now. In that moment, at that moment, that woman knew there was something different about Jesus. But she still didn't get it. See, Jesus is, Jesus is so patient. And, and God, forgive me. I'm, I'm not as patient as you are. I'm, I'm not, I need to be better. But Jesus was so patient. That, that woman still didn't get it. And she immediately wanted to do a 180 and wanted to talk about where do we worship. Jesus keeps her on task. And begins to explain to her, it's not only, it's not so much where you worship, but it's how you worship. That's what matters. The woman at the well kept focusing on the wrong things. And, and until, you, until you're talking to somebody, until you get them focused on the right things... You're never going to, you're not going to, you're not going to get anywhere. Jesus kept saying things to change her focus. Jesus kept trying to change her focus. And, and, if, you, and if you watch in, in John chapter 4, that woman is changed slowly, by, but slowly, very slowly, very slowly. But she is changed little by little, exactly where she needed to be. Good counselors say things to help you focus on the right things. I'm going to repeat that. Good counselors say things 
to help you focus on the right things. This woman goes from sneaking around at noon for some water to, to a life-changing encounter with the wonderful counselor. Everywhere Jesus showed up, a miracle was possible, and it still is today. Whether you believe it or not, a miracle is still possible today. Just as the Samaritan woman and the, at the woman at the well, Jesus changed her life. The woman caught in the very act of adultery and thrown at, at, at the feet of Jesus changed her life. The, the, the disciple who, who watched Jesus walk on the water and then calm the wind and the wave. Mary and Joseph who, 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 who looked at at Jesus regularly and were amazed by what he did and by what he said. I'm, I'm reminded of, of, a, of a, a chorus that, that we used to sing, and, this, and it goes, My God is a wonder. My God is a miracle. He's a miracle working God. The, the, the reason is because he's shall be called the Wonderful Counselor. That's who God is. He's the Wonderful Counselor. Do you know the Wonderful Counselor? The child was born. The son was given. Have you, have you had the chance to receive Jesus as your Wonderful Counselor? If you don't know him, you need to meet him. Amen. Christmas time is a perfect time. Not in words, but in actions. Do you know the wonderful counselor? <clears throat> everything that you open up every time you open up the Bible the God of everything is speaking to you if you understood that every time you open the Bible, the God of everything, the God of everything is speaking directly to you. Every time. Do you understand the power of that reality? That God is listening. He's listening to you. The child born unto us, the son given unto us will provide us with wonderful counsel. Yes. Yes, he Do you know him as the wonderful counselor? Why, why do you, rather, would you lean on anything else other than the wonderful counselor? The mighty, the, the, might, the, the great Jehovah, the self-existent one, Jesus, the, our wonderful counselor. Stand with me if you would, please. <clears throat> we have a wonderful counselor. <clears throat> we have a wonderful counselor, and his name is Jesus. We have one that, that we can cast all of our care upon 
for he cares for you. And John, or, or, or in, in 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7. Do you know the wonderful counselor? God is so good to us. He is so patient and he is so kind. And um, I thank him. I thank him for who he is, for, what he, for what, he, what, he, what he has done, for what he is still doing every day of our lives. And he's still waiting on anybody to call on his name. Everybody bow our heads, please. Father, I thank you. God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, God, Lord, that you are our wonderful counselor. God, that, you, 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 that, that you've given us the ability to make him our wonderful counselor. And God, I thank you for being with each and every one of us. God, if, if, if there are any that don't know you, God, you know them, Father God. Lord, that today they can know your, you as their wonderful counselor. God, if they would just turn their eyes to you, God, I know you would change their life forever. Hallelujah, Jesus. Right now, if there are any that want to know Jesus, if you would just ask him, Right now, in your heart. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I know that you can make them whole. You can, you, you, can, you can cast them completely over to you, God, and turn themselves over to you, Father, if you would just allow them to be the Savior of their life. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, I praise you, Lord, and I thank you, Father. God, I thank you for being with us, God, for this, for this Christmas time. God, I pray that you would strengthen our hearts throughout this Christmas time. Lord, help it to become more real to us than it ever has before. God, that we, we, would, we would love you more and, and serve you more every day of, this, of our lives. And Father, we just thank you, God. Hallelujah. God, I thank you, Father God, and I give you the praise. I give you the glory and I give you the honor, Father God, because of who you are. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, because your name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Hallelujah, Jesus. You shall be called a Wonderful Counselor. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Amen. Amen. I, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm, I'm thankful for, for, for what he has done. And, um, and I pray that you are too. And, and um, just think about this during the Christmas time. Think about it. Every day. Um, sometimes you can, you can get caught up in it's Christmas. Christmas. 